Welcome to yet another episode of the Rising Stars on the Blessed Media channel. Uh, for today, I'm your host. My name is Donald Mabfumo, also known as Father Two Keys. And in the studio today, I have an uh, interesting guest, a young and lovely lady who's in the studio. Uh, she's an artist, she's an author, she's a script writer. There are so many things that she does, and I'm not going to preempt because that's the reason why she's here. And ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome on stage Sunny Asha. Welcome. Thank you. It's good to have you here. But um, before I start talking so much, I would want really for you to be telling people who really Sunny is. Okay, how are you? You are um, Sunny Asha. Asha, which is my pseudonym. I go by the name Pilo Molin Badaba Sango. I was born in Buri, National and Central, and I attended my form one up to six at Ole Rosa High School. So I'm talented in music, I do acting, I do authoring. Yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. An author, a singer, an actress. That that's quite a bunch. But what really inspired you into getting into the arts? Because what I'm looking at here, being an author, being a singer, and being an actress is all in the genre of arts. What inspired you to go into the arts as a singer and a writer? Oof, about the inspiration part, maybe then in our genes. Okay. <laughs> I have my cousin brother. He's an author goes by the name Shima Shinojka. Oh, yeah, quite interesting. He's, he's my brother. So this music thing, I started singing when I was so young. Big thing. It was all about music. I never pictured myself as an author. But when I finished my A-level, that's when I started writing the novels. Then someone said, ha, ah, you are a good writer, why can't you also write scripts, drama scripts? And I gave it a try. And I, yeah. Okay, that's, that's quite interesting. You started when you were very young, and I can still appreciate you are still growing up. So, in terms of music, what type of music are you into? The, the, the genre of music that you, you are into? I sing R&B and j -pop. You are an R&B and hip hop artist. Okay, so what really takes you into hip hop? What takes you into R&B? Because some people will tell you I do this genre maybe because it's a calling or because this is what uh, somebody who identified me said I should do this. What really takes you and gives you the conviction of being an R&B and hip hop artist? R&B, R&B mostly it's all about love things right uh, i like love things so <laughs> that's why i do rnb then about hip hop i it's my style it's my style i like hip hop stuff hip hop things mm -hmm. that is great um I, I will come back to to the issue of music but we would want to also look at uh, one of your competencies your capabilities that you have actually talked about being a script writer um, have you written any scripts so far that have actually gone on set and produced? Uh, so far, I've not 
so far it's yet to be published, but uh, I wrote it's in a talk show script. You have I do talk show script for these television shows called Sports Evolution 360. I'm their script writer, I do the script. Then the other script I write is of a drama, it's called Not for Soft Discovery. I wrote it for Panarino Studio. It's yet again to be published. Oh, that's yeah. that's quite interesting. So we we are yet really to see the productions. But what I'm really happy about is you are already into script writing and you are doing your scripts. So w I the scripts that you write, let me take you to the drama. Yeah. What really inspires you to come up with uh, the drama scripts? What 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 type of drama are you into? Is it the comedy? Is it the action? The the, the setup in which you bring out your your writings and as a script writer. As a script writer, I believe I'm a dreamer. <laughs> Before I start to write, I saw a vision of things. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so it's coming vision. Uh, as the type I write, action, romantics, fiction, yeah. That's great. Um, this is uh, Sunny Asha. Uh, the guest in the studio, she's a script writer and author, she's also a musician, she's into R&B. Now taking you to the third competence that you have actually talked about, because we have looked at your music, we have looked at uh, the script writing. Let's go into your authoring. How many books have you written so far? Oh, the last time I checked, uh, I lost the count. <laughs> I think about nine. Offer. Above 90 books? Yes. Well, and out of the 90 books, how many have you been able to publish? Have you been publishing uh, hard scripts or you are doing electronic publishing? Uh, I tried to publish one called Philophobia. I took it to this other publishing, I forget the name, in Islands, but it's yet to be published. Okay. Then the other one, it's on net, yeah. Is this case star planet they put it on internet so <laughs> that one you can get it even now on hard copy on cd cd format or a pdf format yeah. oh that's great it's good to know that uh, we have uh, artists amongst the youth who are already into book publishing and uh, making their productions we actually await the publication of your book uh, you said it's philo philophobia the fear of love. Oh, what what inspired you to write about the fear of love at <laughs> at, at your age? <laughs> like I said, I'm a dreamer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So it's just coming my dreams. <laughs> the whole story. It will be interesting, viewers. <laughs> I think you you also need to go into. Uh, a lot of reading so that at least we get to acclimatize with this book philophobia that she has actually written it will be very interesting i think i'll be the first one to get a copy and read this book because uh there's a lot that i would really want to find out about the fear of love you know there's no one who's an expert in terms of love but uh we really want to know and feel uh what was going through your mind as you were writing the book so in your journey in the three competencies that we have talked about, being an author, being a script writer, and being a musician, what challenges have you faced uh, in, in, in accomplishing your targets that you have actually set for yourself as, as an author, actress, and, and script writer? Uh, in music, let me say, in music, financial support. Like I said, I always picture myself as a singer before I even picture myself as an author, as a script writer, or as an actor. But this financial thing, I know when I saw the, the what say, my songs. That's when the last time I looked at she was ordering, trying to maybe the guy that ordering again generate some income to record music. Yang, so music is just financial problem. Then ordering quite job. I write my novel and send her online. Online, but only just because I saw online food. WhatsApp through 
Oh, that's that's quite interesting, and I I hope that uh, while people are also watching this episode, there are a thing a few things that you also learn because she has brought in the issue of character assassination, which is very dangerous when it comes to the arts, and I hope that artists out there and the youth out there, uh, you also do your homework and look at uh, issues before you send them out because I know once people start assassinating one's character it becomes a bit difficult for you to really uh, come up but I'm happy that you have overcome uh, such challenges and you are still keeping your head very high and making sure that your productions are going through so now since you have been able to overcome all this and you have been inspired to write, you have been inspired to sing, you have been inspired also to do scripts for various productions, who are your role models? Hmm, my role models in Stella Perry. Oh. Yeah, Stella Perry, that one is into script writing, he's also an actor, he got his studio, so he's my role model. So we can we can safely say here is our 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 image of Tyler Perry in Zimbabwe. I always tell my friends that I'm Tyler Perry and I'm boss Chad boss man Chadwick successor. Ah, that is great. You are hearing it from Sunny herself. Remember what I said, I'm not going to be the one preempting what she has. I've been just checking her profile and looking at what she's capable of doing. But you are hearing it straight from her and she's actually telling us about what she would want to do, the achievements and how she would want to really surpass the role models that she has talked about, the likes of Tyra Perry. She actually wants to be even much better than that. And back home, here on Rising Stars, that's why we bring you on set to talk about it and then expose the talents that are within uh, the borders and beyond. Now, going back to your music, you are a hip-hop artist, you are an R&B artist, you are to go into the studio and record. If you were to do a collaboration, who do you think or who do you really feel that you would want to have a collaboration with? Locally, I would like to do a collaboration with Takura. Then, when you go to South Africa, the likes of Cuesta and international, like Zain Malik, Post Malone. Oh, that is great. She would want to do, I think locally, since you have already talked about it because you are close at home, I hope that uh, the producers out there, you are watching this episode, you are listening to Sunny Asha as she's talking about her career, and I hope that uh, where you have space within your studios, you are also going to be pioneers of assisting talent within uh, our country and make sure that they are brought to the fore because she's, she's a hip-hop artist. Um, Maybe before I ask you where you see yourself in the next five years, let me, uh, you know, music is one thing that suits the mind and it suits the heart. Any one of your songs that you have written that you would just want to give us a few lines because I know, uh, give us the ones that you have recorded maybe so that the ones you are to record people don't get your lines and make them theirs because we would want to hear what you have. Okay, like, let me go. This is called Star. I think it suits well with this. Wow. <laughs> rising, star. rising Star, yes. Star. So I'll just uh, sing. I've been feeling like a star. 
Baby asked me who I am. Rival says I'm a shit. But they can never reach my love. Call me her by a number of names. I hear them more, but I don't keep in my mind. I hear them low, nigga afraid that I'm rising. I never fall, I just give up my mind. Grinding and <laughs> grinding and hustling all that and living, that's what I used to. Facing obstacles when I hear a man to conquer. Sleeping in the street corners, plan on spawn of be Telling me I was insane and I'll never ask them. Call me fucked it up with those negative they set me. When I hear a shot, I shot at me when it rained upon me. All I ever heard for me was a gift the Lord gave me. <laughs> wow. You know, as you were going through, I was just uh, about to go. You know, during the early days, we used to, to do what was called beatboxing with our mouth. I would have gone, do, cha, do, do, cha, do, do, cha, because you were, you, were, you were taking us with the flow. That is good. So, in, in your career, where do you see yourself in the next five years? There you go folks, you have heard it from yourself and uh, you are a youth and uh, you have been going through the COVID times, you have talked about the challenges that you have gone through in life in terms of your career. What advice would you give to the youngsters in the country who also want to go into authoring, those that want to go into music and those that would want to go into script writing? What, 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 what advice can you actually give to them? Hey, my advice is... Be who you are, always. Push hard, just because it's not easy. Well, the world, not but never listen to it. Be who you are. One day, you know, so Kara, what she does is that what you have, this person is a star. Thank you very much, Sunny Asha. It was good to have you on set. It was good to have you on the show. This is the show, The Rising Stars, where we explore and expose the hidden talents that are within the country and beyond the borders. And today, we were just talking to a script writer, an author, and a musician, an artist within the genre of hip hop. And she was here telling us what she can do best. And I hope you guys who are out there, you've been watching, those that would want to do collabs, she is going to give us the details where you can find Sunny Asha, how you can link up with her. You can actually tell the viewers how they can actually link up with you. Okay, for those who would like to read my novels, I have a Facebook page, Asha Best Novels. Or you can contact me on my WhatsApp number. It's 0776 that's it folks uh, for today this was the show rising stars we'll continue again with another show and i hope you've enjoyed what we have been talking about here talking to sunny asha and i hope that you will continue liking the rising stars page that is on blessed media channel on youtube i hope you continue following and giving us the feedback that is very necessary for us to continue bringing you the stars and for those that would want to get in touch with blessed media just go on to uh, the youtube channel drop in your comments drop in your messages and then the team the team behind the scenes will link up with you so from me your host Stuart Mafumo, also known as father two kids and the crew behind the scenes it's goodbye for now i don't know myself Ooh, i just know i just know i just know why cause it's a fake love fake love Love you so big, love you so big Molding a put is on lying in my head Love you so me, love you so me Make me a little, little marionette Love you so big, love you so big Molding a put on little marionette Love you so me, love you so me Make me a little, little marionette I'm so sick of this fake love Sorry.
pretend like I'm glad he went and really put his sword on For you I could pretend like I'm strong when I'm really out and all alone Are we the lover or the beautiful impairment? Are we the all my weakness could be eaten? A flower can be blown in a dream, no chance of making it tomorrow